Hey everyone, we are at CES 2017. I'm at the EUGA suite now, looking at some of the new video card cooling designs, and we've also got all manner of liquid coolers on the table to talk about today, including some for CPUs, which is a bit different. Before getting into that, this coverage is brought to you by CyberPower and their Cyber XL Gaming PC, which is a larger PC with an invertible motherboard layout. If you want to learn more, you can hit the link in the description below. So let's start with the video cards, just because that's what pretty much everyone knows from EVGA, and we'll get to the coolers next. This is one of the GTX 10 series cards, 1070, 1080, doesn't matter. They're all the same sort of ID right now. Uh, but the difference is, instead of ACX, this is an ICX cooler. That's new. We'll have more detail in the future. I have some basics that I can tell you just from looking at it and observing, uh, but they can't really tell me a whole lot in terms of functionality and stuff under the cooler. And I did ask, and we weren't allowed to take it apart. So the cooler has a... First off, fairly functional backplate in theory in that it's all ventilated, so that should be good with keeping the backside of the PCB warm We did or cool because we did some testing and saw it was a bit warm in some of our uh, benchmarks depending on the thermal pad layout. Speaking of thermal pads, these coolers uh, do have, just from looking at it down the side, I can see thermal pads on the VRAM, the VRM components, including the MOSFETs and the capacitor banks, and the chokes have direct contact to the base plate. Uh, so that should all be resolved with the ICX cooler. This is going to exist side by side with ACX, at least for now, uh, but they will be at different uh, price points. So part of the, the price point is going to be because this is a bit more advanced in terms of uh, the base plate and things like that. If you look at the base plate, it has some really fine, tiny fins off to the left, bottom left corner from my perspective, which would be just southwest of the GPU, basically. Uh, so those are supposed to help with dissipation by adding some surface area, pretty basic uh, design. And then in the middle, there's more of that. And if we look really closely, you can see there's a protrusion from the base plate. It's an either aluminum or nickel-plated copper, going just off of vision, uh, that protrudes down and contacts the VRAM. And that is a bit unique because you don't really generally see the base plate and the GPU cooler for most of these vendors cooling the VRAM actively by contact. Uh, at best, it's a thermal pad, but that's not really that common. Uh, so that will make the, as we've shown before, make the GPU diode temperatures look a bit higher because it's cooling multiple devices. But overall, your experience is better because the GPU diode temperature only needs to be so low uh, before you're concerned about other things. So that's the ICX cooler. I think I got most of it. Uh, six heat pipes, something like that. Look at that more, hopefully, end of January. Other stuff uh, on the video card front, there's a new hybrid with quick release. So it's a QRG hybrid. And uh, we talked about these last year at CES. Same idea, where there's quick release valves. You take the orange cap off, and you can connect whatever you want to it. So that would generally be something like a radiator for cooling uh, the CPU, and then you create kind of a semi-custom loop rather than the usual CLC. And then for CLCs, we've got this. Uh, as the nameplate says, closed loop CPU cooler. It is not labeling what type of product it is. That is the actual name. So this is the EVGA closed loop liquid cooler. The, uh, it, it's got some features that are comparable in some way to the Kraken series that we tore down. And basically, the, it's a Gen 5 Asetek pump, same as the Kraken X42, X52, X62. The pump plate, the top, is RGB illuminated. It should, in the near future, before launch, be able to support actually configuring the RGB LEDs and then disconnecting the cable while saving your settings. Uh, so that should be possible with a firmware update. For radiator size, they are in 280 and 120 millimeter options. Prices are not final yet. This should be below 140 from what I'm told, but TBD, so big asterisk there. The 120 should be somewhere below 100, maybe 90-ish. Uh, also TBD. The fans have a sort of unique design. It's hard to say with fans really how much the design matters when you're talking about the fan blade layout and uh, the chassis around it because this chassis does come up a bit. It's supposed to reduce noise emissions. We'll have to test it to really know, but that's the marketing language behind it. The radiators are aluminum and the cold plate is copper. It is not a protruded copper cold plate like EVGA normally makes. This is meant for CPU cooling. You use this one standalone or you buy one of these options to hook it into the rest of the system. I think that covers most of the basics. There's some software for the AIO that we were able to get a few photos of. You can see that there. Currently, it shows the liquid, the actual coolant temperature, in theory anyway. 
and uh, it's also got some RGB controls in there, fan speed controls based on the coolant temperature, which is a bit odd, but we've given feedback on that, so maybe that will change. Uh, and then for the sensor itself, the thermocouple inside of the chassis, if it's anything like the X42, in theory, it's just a thermocouple that sticks straight down into the liquid tank, and it's got a bunch of th uh, thermal compound around it, and that would give you your liquid temperature measurement if it's not contacting something else instead, but we'll tear it down and see uh, how it's built. So I think that covers it. Uh, there's a new case as well. It's a DG7 case. It's a mid-tower ATX, supports up to seven fans. You can learn most of it just by looking at the case, honestly. Uh, two SSDs on the back, two hard drives on the back, four total for each, and uh, otherwise, it's a, it's a mid-tower case. So that is the EBGA suite. If you are curious to learn more, links in the description below as always. Patreon link in the postal video to help us out directly. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.